And that was the Dwarf Dance. Hi, this is Kess Blue. Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with me. Um, yeah. So, I've already done my shopping around here. Which I'll show you right now, actually. And I'm going to start by saying, make sure you explore, you loot the castle entirely before you do your shopping. Because it will save you some money. He's wearing all the same stuff. She is, um, actually, I bought this and this. This I actually took from Rosa. And she came with a whip. Also, is it just me, or is that like a really bad portrait? Her face looks way too manly. Um, I bought Kane here, a flame shield, and a uh, mail, and I found the power armlet. This is going to be the most expensive thing you buy, by the way. I bought her dark arrows, which are more powerful than elemental arrows. And I also bought her a sage's stuff and a rune armlet. And I bought Yang here a rune armlet. The black belt is another thing I found in the castle somewhere. Anyway, uh, I don't want to go in here. Let's talk. To, let's talk to this guy before we get in our way. You have permission from the king. Then you may enter. Enter where? Um. Oh. Did I miss something? Really? After through group? Well, let's just look in here. Okay, this does not look like the rest of the castle at all. Lally ho! What is... Take care. There are gigantic cannons in the Tower of Babel. <laughs> so wait, does this place go to the Tower of Babel? And hey, there's looted boxes. Damn it. I swear I wasn't in here before. Um, what's over here? Unlooted boxes! Is it cottage? And a cottage! And a co- really? Be careful! Er, the underworld monsters are fearsome. Be careful! Really? Because I haven't seen any. Um... No, they're obviously not here either. I'm brave, but that's nothing compared to how brave you are. Um, glad you think highly of me. Rubicant, the strongest of the four elemental lords, is at the Tower of Babel. He who fights and runs away lives to see another day. Come back in one piece. Um, he looks sort of hyper. You sneak in while we distract the enemy with our tanks. And so is the water of life. Drink before you go. Wow, I wish I had known this was here. Because one of the things we did was stay at the inn, and that's like a 600 MP. Er, gill deposit. Cool, I'm outside now. I gotta save first, though. I also really need to use, um, sight. I have no idea where- oh wow, you know what? Normally I don't do this here, but- on video, but that was just bad. Okay, I'm here. This is a dwarf castle. This is the base. The Tower of Babel is, um, the tall thing that goes off the top. I have no idea what anything else on this map is, but that's definitely the Tower of Babel. In which case, this is going to be a pretty long walk, actually. Best get started, I suppose. Magma Tortoise! Goblin Captain! Wait, 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 wait a second. I'm using a Fire Sword. Okay, actually, no, that wasn't too bad. 
something tells me that though that I should give um, Yang the ice claw. Fun thing about the best equipped thing with Yang, it randomly selects a claw for him. I mean, well, right now it's only one claw because Hell Claw is um, statistically superior. But I have four other claws that all de add the same amount of damage. So it's kind of funny. Um, what? You missed? Damn it, Kane. Uh, you know, actually, maybe this won't be as far as I thought it was. I mean, it looked pretty far, but I'm pretty sure this map is smaller than the world map. Actually, no. I'm really positive that it is. Armadillo, eh? Well, it's obviously not... Firebase. So, it also seems like a good choice. Oh, wait, I still want to try to hit someone with my whip. Okay, that's not really very effective, but hey, at least I hit it. That in itself is sort of a uh, good thing. Actually, I wonder. Okay. Um. I'm a. I'm guessing that precision is accuracy. No, no. I don't. I'm saying thought, maybe not. Kane has 29 precision. Not that I really trust his. Okay, wait, what? I have no idea how the hell it calculates how accurate I am. Um. <laughs> Oh well. Onward further to the... You know, actually, I've got to say, so far I'm really not all that impressed with the caliber of the monsters down here. Oh, and by the way, do you remember the apples I got before? I gave those to Rydia. Uh, you don't need to if you don't want to, but Rydia has a really low HP naturally, and I cannot get through here. So I find giving those to her really helps things out. Really, how do I get past here? Here's another fun fact. In the menu screen, Rosa probably heals literally twice as much life with single cure than Cecil does. Um, so, cannons. This seems like a good spot to save. Um, and actually, I'm gonna use the tent. After all, I am about to go into a dungeon, so I may as well go in there with in peak condition. And we made it! Join me- no, I'm kidding. I am playing a little further than this. You know, the construction for this tower seems to be the same for the as it was in the Tower of Zod. Which was, was a pretty weird tower, gotta be honest. Pretty weird tower. Uh, I wonder. Uh, stone gate? Well, I should, um, deal with that. Okay, they're weak inside. Good to know. Okay, that's gonna get really annoying really fast. Note to self, kill lizards quickly. Like, seriously.
<laughs> what? It's not dead. Oh, well, now it's dead. Medusa arrows. Those are new. Anyway. Now, as I was saying, I wonder what's in the box. Ice arrows. Uh, you know what? I don't even need to look. It's gonna be 10. And uh, ice arrows. Oh, you know what? I can take a hint. I don't want to take off the dark arrows, though. So. Um. You know what? Let's go up the ice arrows. Not too many. Oh well. What is. So here's another fun fact. Apparently, the whip can cause paralysis. Which was a. Like, go figure, right? And. We fought these before, but <laughs> wow, that this actually looks really bad. If this was the Tower of Thought, these things would totally be kicking my ass. I don't mind saying. However, this is not the Tower of Thought. This is the Tower of STFU. Ha ha ha! Damn it! Pain. Use Blizzard. But what? What just happened? Okay, so wow, that caught me off guard. And either, yay. And on to floor two. Of no doubt many. Green beret. Oh, that's actually new. Um, let's see. Probably. Actually, wait. Yang has a crappy feather cap. Yeah, that's the right. Bold magic power? Um, don't care, giving it to the egg. Um, no? I really don't like that. Not even a little bit. Like, that's kind of scary, since they can deal so much damage with that fire attack. <laughs> and mind you, Oh wait, no, no. I was gonna say Cecil's armor is resistant to fire, but that's actually not true. I'm pretty sure it's resistant to ice. But yeah, I'm not gonna take any chances with that if I can help it. No, thank you, Firestorm, or whatever it was called. You know, I already missed Sid, just because he was really convenient for identifying enemies. Fire arrows! And what is behind here? Okay, there's no way this box is not- MONSTERS! What a shock. Security eye. Don't like the sound of that. And now it's freaking out. What the hell? <laughs> it just summoned a chimera. <laughs> Wait a sec. What? Okay, well, I was gonna identify it, but. That's not happening anymore. Yeah. Um, right. You would identify it. Wow. 
just wow. No weaknesses. It doesn't have that much HP though. If I can actually hit it with everyone. Besides Rosa, I mean Rydia. And there it goes. Ice Brand. I was wondering how long it would take to get that. It's more powerful, and of course, it's strong against everything in the castle. Or at least almost everything. Okay, uh... Now, what was it saying? Right, I'm gonna finish this floor. What is in here? Oh. What about here, then? Monsters! Again! Uh, let's see if I can kill this one before it summons the monster this time. No, that's blocked. Stone Golem this time, eh? Beam? Hmm. Um. I don't know. Let's test the waters, so to speak. Okay, it's not weak against fire. Um... What is stone gold weak Apparently ice. Also, wow, this actually has a lot of HP for a random encounter. Well, actually it's not really a random encounter, is it? Still, for not being a boss, it has a lot of HP. Nah, that much though. Wow. It, oh, it's nice one. That's probably not as powerful as my Bloodland. It's not. Um. I don't know. It's sort of tempting to do that. But at the same time. Wait. Huh. Why am I even wearing this? Does it do something? Uh, anyway. My blood is more powerful than it. But I'll probably still deal more damage with the ice. But I really like absorbing HP. So I'm going to keep it this way for now. And... Now I'm going to cut off. So until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, PS Blue. See ya!